Well, I don't know about you, but for me, EastEnders has been all over the place lately. I don't know where I am. We're jumping from story to story to story, and I'm totally confused. Welcome to James Reviews EastEnders. <laughs> As I said, we are jumping from one story to the next, to the next, to the next. It's like the new producers haven't settled on a storyline, on a specific storyline. And I, as a viewer, am finding it very, very confusing. On the one hand, we had Dot coming back. And then we had the story of Dr. Leg coming back as well. I didn't realise they were such good friends. Did you? They're meant to be lifelong friends. Anyway, so they both come back and then Dr. Leg is apparently dying. And oh, uh, then we've got Con uh, Kanye, I was going to call him. I'm getting muddled up with Keanu and Sharon ending their dalliance just in time for Phil to come back, no doubt. So we had the situation where they were getting phone calls saying that they knew what was going on. So the whole thing had to end. Thank goodness for that. Oh, that wasn't very pleasant at all. Mind you, it has proved just how hunky Keanu is. He is a hunky thing, isn't he? Anyway, moving on. We've then got... Hayley's pregnancy has suddenly blossomed and is now ready to come out. In fact, it did come out. God, she must have had the shortest pregnancy known to man. She decides she doesn't want to have the baby, then she wants to have the baby, and then she's going to have the baby. And just as she goes into... Oh, she's told that the quickest way to bring a baby on is to have a bit of nooky-wooky. So, who does she turn to? Keanu. I suppose if you do have to have a little bit of nooky-wooky in the square, Keanu's not a bad person to turn to. Anyway, so she's like nine months pregnant and she propositions him. He, because I think he's like a sandwich short of a picnic, goes along with it and says, all right then. So he said, let, let me go upstairs and have a shower. Goes upstairs and has a shower. In the meantime, she's done the off ski. Has she? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, they didn't do it. They didn't do it in the end because the witches came back. I tell you what, the thing that did make me laugh is the Slaters as witches. Jean is brilliant. I love Jean. And I will say, Cat with that funny sort of hair thing was comical. And the two of them together were just brilliant. Oh, and with... um. Uh, Mo in the in the mix as well. They were like the three stooges. <laughs> so Haley goes missing. She jumps in the cab whilst in full labour. Who would do that? As she jumps in the driver's seat, Ian Bill jumps in the passenger seat. Yeah, well, I want to go to that. Being his usual obnoxious self. Hayley, in the end, because she is actually in labour, in the end, says to him, just get out of our cab! Get out! So he gets out with the right hump while she is still in labour. It's all very confusing. Despite the, sh the house shortage in Britain, she manages to find an empty house in the square. So goes in there... That apparently there were squatters in there because there were lots of candles and it was all a bit bizarre. Anyway, so she goes in there and starts to give birth and in fact does give birth in this derelict house or the empty house. Now, I have to tell you, I have had four kids and never in all my four labours have I sat there talking to myself the way that Hayley talked to herself during her labour. It was a bit silly. It was a bit unbelievable. I didn't like it. 
I know what they were trying to do in filming it like that, but I didn't like it. It was unrealistic. And to be perfectly honest with you, it got right on my nerves. It did. I don't know if I'm the only person who feels like that, but it was so unnecessary. From the moment she went into labour, after she'd kicked out Ian Beale in the cab, she then went into like this soliloquy. Oh, what is the word? <laughs> Sol soliloquity. Oh, I've got that wrong. Uh, anyway, she then went into this monologue talking to herself throughout the whole of the labour. Yeah, it's all right, girl. Oh, I'm going to give you away. Yeah, it's all right, girl. I'm here. And, I... and then she was like, oh, well, let me tell you a story. Well, when I was a little girl, and da 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 and da 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 it was no. I didn't like it. Anyway, so whilst the story of her giving birth in this derelict house is going on, we've also got the boys going on a Halloween night um, no, Halloween, was it Halloween? Yeah, I think it was. They're going on a Halloween night over to the club. So then, bit all over the place. There's Martin there still dealing with the fact that his friends from yonder years have turned out to be rapists. Jay in there with a skeleton thing. And there, there's Robbie being Robbie. And there's Bex in there with boobs akimbo. And, um... It just didn't work for me. That episode did not work for me. It was all over the place. I didn't like it. Did not like it. I didn't like the way they filmed the, the birth scene. I didn't like the way they then jumped back. Oh, yeah, we had another story going on with Billy. And he had a toothache or something. And he was looking after the kids while everyone went away. So while he was talking to one child, another child has put on a horrible film to scare the rest of the kids. We didn't need that in there. It was all over the place. I didn't like it. Hopefully, next week will be a bit better. It was, I don't want to say rubbish, but I didn't like it. The, th the only thing I liked in it was Jean and the other Slaters dressed up and, and looking funny. But the rest of it, I didn't like. We had Carmel, we had Keegan going for this group because apparently they're targeting him, sending him horrible messages. So he's decided he's going to grab a knife from the kitchen and he's going to don the outfit, the ghost outfit, the black ghost outfit, and go and stab the boy that, that's sending these texts to him. It was it was just all bitty. I'm sorry. Didn't like it. Didn't like it. Anyway, hope you like this review for what it's worth. And uh, if you did, can you please press the like button share and subscribe to Jane's Reviews and uh, hopefully I'll be putting up another one lately, lately, soon <laughs> and hopefully they'll have sorted out the storylines. Bye bye for now, you take care of yourselves.